What's up, YouTube? It's been a little bit. Um, I will rant on all that later and why it's been a minute. Uh, but uh, let's get into it. Uh, this video here today for those people that don't care. They just want to see uh, an explanation. They want to learn something about Noita. And then afterwards, at the end, I'll, I'll rant for a bit. And those guys don't have to listen to the rant. So uh, today we're going to discuss the uh, H, uh, HP up locations and how you can go about consistently finding a health in Noita, because that is one thing that's asked very commonly in my live streams, is people ask, uh, you know, how do you always have such high health uh, in the early game? So uh, let's go ahead and let's get into it. Right now, we currently have 75 out of 125. So in our first area, we found a single heart. Single heart adds 25 HP, and uh, whenever it adds it to it, that 25 HP is empty. So uh, it actually, you know, anytime you add on health, you really don't benefit from it necessarily until you get the the heal at the next mountain. So right now I'm in my very first holy mountain. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bypass the heal. Now, this is something that you need to gauge for yourself. How much HP are you willing to risk? I mean, like if I'm at 20 HP right now, it's pretty damn risky to leave the health here for a little bit and go search for hearts, right? because I could easily die. But the greedier you are, the more potential payoff. So let, let's say we go out into this level and because hearts are, are you know not too hard to find in this level, I feel like once you get used to the, the uh, formations and stuff, which I'll explain those in a moment, don't worry. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy to find you know, two or three hearts in this zone, um, and that that would be 75 HP. If we if we manage to find three hearts, which is not that unreasonable, then came up and grabbed the heal afterwards, that'd be an additional 75 HP that is healed thanks to stalling and not grabbing that heart immediately. So that's a strategy here that uh, I feel like a lot of people uh, maybe they they underutilize, and it's something that I definitely, as a new player, didn't use a lot. Even like I'd be in this mountain, the moment I stepped into the mountain, I would grab that health up, and then I would start strategizing, right? When in reality, I should have left that health up and see. You know, sometimes you'll you'll drop out of this mountain, and you never know. Sometimes there's a heart like immediately. Um, but I'll, before before we go out there, I mean, I didn't grab a perk yet. We'll we'll talk about that in a moment. But uh, if you're curious, what we're looking for. Um, actually, there was somebody who, um, their, their alias, if I click this, it should say it, Three Hamburgers, their name is Three Hamburgers, they updated on the Noita Wiki, which I'll link this in the description below, uh, the HP up locations for, like, all these different uh, areas, like, they, they added a ton of them, and it's super helpful, and it was very nice of them to take the time to, to do this for the Noita community, so definitely shout out to Three Hamburgers for doing this, but this shows... A lot of newcomers, whenever I talk about formations, they get a little confused because they're like, what does that even mean? But uh, this visual right here really helps represent it. Uh, that's, you know, yeah, I'm going to scroll to the area that we're going into. We're going into the second zone. So there are uh, only specific locations that could potentially get a heart. And it's not like the hearts are just sporadically thrown in the level. Instead, what has happened is there are pre designed squares. Um, like on a checkerboard, it's like a checkerboard and the squares are pre-designed and then it just shuffles them around. So after a certain amount of time when you've played for a bit, you start to recognize these these formations and know where to look to find a potential heart. So if you're getting a little confused, don't worry, I'll show you a hands-on. Like I'll jump into the level and I'll see if we can find a, a heart or two to help you guys uh, you know, recognize these formations. But one thing that I want to point out is whenever you're looking for these hearts... Uh, the, these show the like hot spots for the, where the hearts spawn in each uh, formation. This spot is not guaranteed to have a heart. It is like a 30% chance for a heart, a 40% chance for a chest, and a 30% chance for a nothing. Uh, for a nothing. <laughs> for nothing. Um, that's not always the case, but pretty much always. Majority of the time, most formations, those are the rules for the general formations, which is pretty much all of them. Uh, there's no reason to even talk about the outliers because it's it really doesn't factor in. So let's go ahead, let's jump into uh, the gameplay here, and then we can discuss uh, some, some strategy and stuff. So right now we have not grabbed the health, and we're gonna roam out to the level, and we're gonna see if we can see, well, injured myself right away, doesn't seem too smart. We're gonna see if we can find a heart or two to, to kinda, or it doesn't even have to be a heart. I mean, even if a chest shows up, it at least can serve as a, uh, you know, something to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about with recognizing formations. 
Because uh, there's no guarantee that there will be hearts. We could get it. That's where lucky and unlucky comes into play. Because there's always heart formations. Well, not always. But pretty much always there are heart formations. Plenty of them in your level. Now, do they always spawn a heart? That's really where you'll see me complain about, man, we're getting unlucky. Because if you come across like six or seven of these heart formations and not a single one of them had a heart that means six or seven times you had a 30 percent chance to get a heart and you didn't get it a single time that's really where you start to feel like you're like dang this the seed is cursed kind of thing and keep in mind that uh, the seed that you're on which is located right here that seed will actually um Will, will allow for consistency in terms of these hearts. So whenever you come across a heart formation, what decides if a heart is there or not will be your seed. That So if somebody else plays on the, on the same seed, they will have the exact same results in their heart formations, if that makes sense. So if you found a chest in the formation, then somebody on the same seed will find a chest there too. It doesn't like roll another another like uh, level of like RNG or something to it. I was hoping to come across a quick art so I could show you how much value you get out of leaving leaving behind the health in the mountain, but all I've done is show how that it's a bit of a risk. Um, which it is a risk, but it's like it's usually a, a pretty safe gamble in terms of like the payoff and everything. You, you know, if you can skip and find a heart or two, I mean that's that's super helpful. Um, oh oh here here's here's a formation right here. So I haven't even seen if there is a heart or a chest or nothing yet, but this is a formation. Now, obviously, you know, most players would just keep walking forward, they'd see it, whatever. But maybe on the off chance that they get to here, they just head downwards. This is where it's helpful to recognize these formations. Now, uh, the formation that I cur we're currently on, so we're in this coal pits. Um, where is the form? There it is. Uh, th these are the same right here. It's trying to sh it shows that uh, below them, there can be different puzzles below them. But uh, what, I what you need to see is this this kind of cave in right here, it kind of leads you to to this spot for uh, the heart or, or chest or nothing to spawn there. So this is exactly, we're standing like right about here. And uh, this formation just coincidentally spawned. Like I said, it, these are pre-designed, but it throws them randomly around in your world. And we just come across one. So on the, I can actually show you. So we're on this side, but if you see, I'll look over here in a second, you'll see that it, it's, it's designed exactly like this. This area right here is the key. That, uh, that I look for that that points out these these hearts or these formations basically <clears throat> okay so we got a chest so we can dig into it and I was hoping we would get a heart out of that but uh, yeah so there you go there's there's one heart formation that we found we got a chest on it um, oh we got we got a wood formation there too I'll <clears throat> I'll talk about that in a second okay we're starting to find them starting to get stuff but I wanted to show you from the right side too because it's important not to just recognize from the left, but the right as well, uh, what to, to look for. Because sometimes you'll just be traveling, and maybe you're mo you're moving along like right down here, and you would only get a glimpse of this edge, but you wouldn't be able to see that there's a, a, a cutout or anything. You just see the glimpse of the edge, and you need to recognize, oh wait, that's the formation. That'll come with time and repetition. But uh, another formation I want to show you is this wood one right here. Is if this one's a really easy one that you don't really like. Once you've seen it once, you usually are. It's like you know locked in. But there's the wood formation right here, and this one you get to used to seeing it from different angles. But it's the only one that spawns in this weird kind of zigzag formation in the wall. Usually they had they're on the edge, right? Where there's like this is the edge and there's coal on top of it. But this one's just straight up in the middle of the wall. There's this zigzag of wood. So uh, we we just saw it from right here, I believe, the very the very top. But if you if you look, we, we can approach it from the side over here, and we'll see this edge too. That's a very common one. This is the wood formation, and one that I like to point out on the stream all the time. Yeah, there it is. So in in this image, you'll see that uh, there shows there's a heart right here. Now, in the game, it's not that clear. In the game, it can actually hide hearts underneath the coal. So the only way we'll know is if we mouse over or we uh, we dig into the coal here below it. So that's what we're wanting to look for. We're wanting to look beneath here and see there's some coal. And uh, oh, hey, we got we got a heart. 
I was I was hoping we'd have that happen there because I was like, come on, please, for the video, happen. So as you saw, it was hidden underneath it. But in this picture here, you can see it clearly. They do that to help people out for whenever they look at the heart formations to know where to look. But as you can see in the actual game, it was hidden and we did not know it was there until we dug into it and then we can grab it up. So uh, we actually almost got unlucky here because as you can see, here's the, whole, the holy mountain, which is the bottom. If this uh, formation had spawned a little bit lower, it would have cut off the area where the heart spawned and there's a chance we wouldn't have got the spawn at all. Like you could have seen possibly part of the wood formation and then whenever you dig down, you'd be like, oh, it runs into the Holy Mountain. So it just, you know, interrupts the formation. That's always crappy when that kind of stuff happens. Because you're like, no, I could have got a heart, but the game screwed me over. So with so far, uh, we got one chest and one heart. So, and we, and we already found two formations. That's not, that's not too bad. Um, okay, this almost, this almost was another formation. I thought it was. But uh, no, it's a different... I mean, it is a... For, they're all formations, but is it a heart formation is really the question because the heart formation is the key to giving yourself a huge boost um okay here's a here's another one it's the same one of the ones we just looked at remember how i was pointing out that uh okay come on do, 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 do. so i accidentally dug that right there that's for my own shot we see this 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 dip that's what we are just discussing on that one was it above or below it was, looked like it was below it was the same one right here. It's the same one, but now we're approaching from the right side. So this one has this little, this wood platform and then this dip in right there, which is our, which is a giveaway for a potential heart spawn right there. Again, this is another one of those formations that you just get used to it uh, the more time you, you see it. And we have, okay, two hearts right off. So that's, we, we, that's very good odds. Well, we've seen three formations, two of them were hearts. One of them was a chest. Uh, it's not not bad odds for the the fact that the heart is actually a 30% chance to spawn in a formation. So, hell yeah, we'll take it. So right now uh, we gained 50 HP by uh, going into the level and not grabbing our health yet. Now, yes, we would have had the same amount of health regardless, but that 50 HP would we would have grabbed had we already healed up. We would have to wait until the next mountain before we could benefit from that 50 HP, from the 25 health from the two hearts, so 50 HP. But instead, I played a little bit greedy. I had 75 HP in that, which I felt was, I felt pretty comfortable going back out into the level with 58, I mean, with 75 HP. 75 HP is not too bad. Now, if I had like 20 HP, then maybe it'd be a little too greedy to go exploring. But, you know, in this case, I felt confident and we ended up losing a little bit, but nothing too crazy. And then we heal up now. Now look at us, we're much better off. We have, uh, we have 185 healed HP and we still have a lot of this area to explore. I feel like this is a really good move to make uh, specifically for this level here, because this level, uh, if you look at the, the map overworld here, so this is the first zone, right? This is the, if, if you're curious, I will link both the HP up locations, uh, this, this page here, and I'll link the map uh, in the description below if you're wanting these links, so don't worry. But um, yes, so here's the first zone, right? And we went into the mountain, and then here we go. We were at the very first mountain. And what I did is I bypassed that heart because this zone here is a zone that I feel like we, we have tons of hearts and, well, not tons, but I feel like the odds of us finding a heart for, for low risk is 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 pretty significant. I feel like it's one of the areas that's the, the best, has the, the highest payoff odds, I guess. But then again, that, that's up to you to decide for yourself, right? Everybody has their own play styles. But the reason I want to specifically do it in this level is because if you look over to the left side over here, this is the fungal zone. This area has tons of zones in it that uh, can spawn hearts. It's one of the highest concentrated areas for, for heart spawns and chest spawns and all that. So I'd like to have as much HP as possible to roam freely in this area, which is why I make that move to try to give myself that bonus HP so that I can easily uh, get more potential hearts over in that fungal zone, which will be on the left side of this zone down here. So one more thing I wanted to point out here, uh, I feel like, cause you know, a lot of people when you're playing Noita, while you want to learn how to benefit uh, like, like you want to, you want to be in a, a, in a, in a good place in your runs at the same time, you don't want to spend a ton of time memorizing formations. And always, that's not always the most fun and not only that, but it's kind of difficult too to just like memorize a formation and then instantly, you know, be able to recognize it on the fly. So the way I learned formations was not using this. This was only recently added by three hamburgers. It was very nice of them to add it. 
but I actually feel there's an even better way to learn these formations long term, and that is this perk right here. I've talked about it many times in the past, probably seen several runs where I ranted on it. The item radar. This right here actually will point you towards not only flasks and chests, but hearts as well. So this thing right here actually teaches you formations. And uh, we'll kind of, I'll jump out here real fast. You can actually see uh, there's there's something above me. There's a, there was a, I don't know what's up there, uh, hmm, but we'll worry about that later. You just roam over here. And all you have to do is just kind of roam around and see, I, oh, that that's pointing towards the, uh, the Holy Mountain uh, refresher that I left in there. So yeah, cause I left the refresh, but let's jump out into the level. There we go. So it's starting to point out some stuff. Let's see what's down here. Yep, there you go. See, it's pointing out uh, another form. This is that formation. This is the third time we've seen this formation. This is, see, this will, you see formations pretty significantly. You'll start to learn them very fast. This is that one where, again, the dip in from the side. Uh, last time we, we approached it from the right side, but again, there's a chest. This is just from having item radar. It'll, it'll teach you these formations without you having to memorize uh, all those images, but some people, you know, er everybody learns in different ways. So some people may be able to benefit from the the images. Some people may, you know, have a lot of luck with item radar. Regardless of if you memorize the formations or not, I would strongly recommend item radar. It it is just so useful. I mean, the fact that it literally points out parts, even if they're in the walls and stuff. I mean, it, it's hard to have every uh, formation memorized 100%. And item radar is just like the answer to that. Because there are several hearts in the game that are kind of hidden in the wall. And that can be very awkward formations. Here's another one. Look at this. This this is another common formation right here. The pool of water one. You can actually scroll and you'll see the pool of water one is... Uh, mm -hmm. Right there. There it is. This is the formation that we're in right now. Has a chance for a heart. Again though, this is actually... So... <laughs> I, I should have uh, I should have looked up the seed beforehand because uh, I should have like checked the areas because this is now maybe misleading people. They're like, oh my god, you find so many hearts. What's this is a little bit uh, this is kind of crazy because we've looked at what four formations now. Actually, no, I think we've seen five. Two of them had chests and three of them had hearts. That's really good odds. Like that's you know again thirty percent chance for a heart. 40% chance for a chest and 30% chance for nothing. So this is just a, a really good seed. Uh, I think it, I don't want you guys to, uh, ex you know, <laughs> think that you're going to find this many hearts so quickly. Usually it takes a little more effort. It's just this is a, it's a damn good seed. But as you can see, item radar is making this like easy mode. It, this formation here it is again. Same little wooden platform dip in. There's the, the chest. And at this point, whenever you have item radar, obviously it's not super crucial that you recognize the formations because the, the item radar is going to do that for you. But the reason I kind of am pointing these out, even though we have item radar, is because you're not going to always come across item radar, you know? Item radar is is a, a very, very powerful perk, and you can't just depend on like, oh, I'll just get item radar, and then I can then I can win, you know, easy. So there's this chest. And as you can see, there's already another, um, that was good, gunpowder. There's already another formation right here. So one key thing, if you're wanting to use, if you're wanting to use that, uh, those, that, the HP up locations from the wiki, keep in mind that when I go to the far left side, this is now a separate biome. So now that we've gone to the far left side, we've moved over from the, the, uh, the, the coal pits to now we're in the fungal caverns. And you want to see the one that we found the heart on. It's actually... Where is it? This one right here. There you go. See the two steel pipes, water, and we have a heart, which we we found it right here as well. And it, it's funny because I was hoping to, you know, when I I figured when I came across some locations, you would see some that don't have anything in it. They're just empty, and that's because not every uh, formation pays off. Like I said, there's a thirty percent chance you get nothing. So that's 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 a large amount of time where we're gonna see nothing. It's just I haven't seen one of our really common formations that's empty. I mean, probably because we're, we're kind of going off of the item radar right now. So it's literally just leading us over to two formations. So we probably skipped quite a few formations that were empty. But uh, yeah, you get you get the point. I don't want to keep ranting on it for too long. I want to make sure that you guys just get a, you know, a brief overlook of what to expect out of this. And hold on, sorry, I was, I was just trying to think of... I thought for a moment that there was a, a formation up uh, coming up, but... It does not seem to be the case. Anyways, so there you go. There's heart formations. Um, 
If there's something else that I think of, I'll probably put it in the description or whatever. But really, it just comes down to, I mean, like, this, see, this isn't even a heart formation. This is a shop formation. I recognize this one. Got a potential shop here. This one obviously would not be listed on this because this one is focused on teaching you potential locations of finding hearts and all that. So, um, but yeah, thank you guys for for watching the video. For those uh, the, those members of the community that keep track of uh, you know the moist mob and all that stuff, I, I I tried to I was wanting to upload more videos, but at the same time I recently uploaded a seven hour sun quest, and I was like, damn. Seven hours, that's asking a lot of a uh, uh, the community members to watch seven hours of gameplay, you know. So I put off a little bit from throwing out any videos because I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with, with content. You know, if you're posting videos every day, you know, one hour, two hour, three hour videos, it, it, at some point you just get so far behind, you're like, eh, screw this. So I gave you guys a couple weeks to, to watch the seven hour long video. For those who did take the time to watch it, know that I, I appreciate you. For those who did not, I don't blame you at all. It was a, it was a long run. But man, it was a fun one. It was a, the Sun Quest. I had a ton of fun. I did it live on Twitch. So I was really happy that I got that uploaded uh, to YouTube. Uh, anyways, thanks for all the love and support, you guys. And uh, I should be posting more videos soon. So stay sweaty. Deuces.